Eric, first of all, tell us a little bit about the mission of the Knowlton Foundation. The foundation was created by, by Dutch Knowlton, Austin Knowlton, uh, who grew up uh, not too far from Oberlin with a, a fairly broad mission, um, which was to, one, uh, even the economic playing field uh, through the, the, uh, the provision of scholarships, but also to take these individual transformative large project steps like you see today with the stadium facility to help campuses kind of remake and modernize themselves. Picking up on that, how did the marriage between Oberlin and Knowlton come about? The relationship that we have with Oberlin began three years ago when we began uh, funding the Endowed Scholarship Program here. Mm -hmm. uh, created the Austin E. Knowlton uh, Endowed Scholarship Program at Oberlin. Now, Knowlton himself um, actually was quite familiar with Oberlin. His initial business was uh, was construction, but mm -hmm. specifically institutional construction. What was your vision for this facility? We had previously um, done another large stadium and outdoor athletic complex construction project with another small school and really integrated some of Knowlton's passion because at the foundation we really try to imagine what would excite Mr. Knowlton if he were here today to be able to participate in these discussions. Well, he was one of the found he was the founding shareholder of the Cincinnati Bengals. Um, and was involved over the years in a lot of the NFL's transformation of going to a sporting event to become a social destination and a, a broader entertainment experience, not simply going to sit on a cold seat to watch a football <laughs> game. Um, and so we began a dialogue around, could we actually add a little bit of what we had learned in our prior projects in building these more social hub athletic complexes and the Oberlin administration was great in uh, really having a great dialogue and creative dialogue with us about how to bring some of those ideas. Now you've had a chance to get a little bit of a look at the place, initial impression. Seeing the contrast, I was last year for the groundbreaking uh, a year ago, this is a absolutely, it's a beautiful facility uh, and we've been fortunate at the foundation to see an awful lot of college campuses through mm -hmm. our activities. This is clearly among the finest Division III uh, athletic facilities in the country. What is it about small liberal arts colleges that attracts Knowlton? Knowlton believed in the power of, um, of, of college educations in a variety of different formats. He certainly did not think that a small liberal arts school was the only path to success. However, he also very much got that for different students, different types of institutions, different avenues are more suited. And the small, intimate, very connected uh, atmosphere that you have with the smaller schools like Oberlin, he very much had seen over many decades of his life that, uh, that, that they have the ability to, for the right student, be incredibly transformative and, and much more positive experience in the larger institution. We've seen the athletic component. How important is the, the scholarship component? What you really see at institutions is that you need to have a, a multifaceted approach to improving the student experience because if you have a decrepit facility over time that is falling apart, frankly, there, there is a very important kind of emotive or emotional component to your facilities being attractive and desirable in places that human beings want to be. And if you have a completely decrepit campus that does not have facilities like this, you can make the cost of going to school as low as you like, um, and you're going to have a dying college or university over time. And so we've taken this very two-tiered approach of we have a very broad array of relationships um, and, and do endowed scholarships at a very large number of schools, and then have done these selective sort of deep projects like you see with Oberlin, where we see a very critical need with an institution that certainly kind of connects with us and gets our mission.